Hello and welcome to Isle for you guys. We are back again with another video. Today we are going to discuss the team of the season published by EA Sports FIFA Mobile. Uh, we have a set of 23 players including a starting 11, 7 players on the bench and 5 reserve players. We will be taking a look at these players, going through the teams and uh, finding who all are missing out, who all made to the starting 11 and also as part of ISL for you we have created a starting 11, a team of 11 players for, based on the season's performance uh, last season. That is completely based on the player's data. That is, for each position, we have selected the group of players who played more than 1000 minutes. And based on the performance, we rank them 1, 2, 3 and uh, derive the entire 11 players. So what we are going to do is we are comparing the EA Sports team with isl for us team and trying to put up a few observations which we can find as we go through this video. So first we will be going to the team of the season published by EA Sports and we have a very strong team. I completely agree with this team because we have almost predicted the, these players in the team. We have a three frontline strikers who had a nail-biting finish to the golden boot race. We have a very strong uh, midfield trio with Hugo Bomas, Ahmed Jao, uh, Crivellaro of Chennai NFC. Then we have a defense where we have Jessel Karnari of Kerala Blasters, Marthoda of Fall, UNN of uh, Bengaluru FC and Prabir Das. And in front of the goal we have Gurpreet Singh Sandhu. One interesting takeaway from this team of the season is we have only three Indian players in this lineup. Jessel, Gurpreet and Prabir Das. The remaining entire players are foreign players which is definitely a point to note because ISL is for the development of Indian football, Indian players and still even we are in the sixth season the number of Indian players quality is not yet increased which is a concern for Indian football itself. Now we can take a quick look at the ISL for you ISL 11 2019-20. Here interestingly 8 out of the 11 players are similar to what we saw on the EA Sports team. The three changes are one as Subhashish Bose comes in place of uh, Jessel Carnero. Lucien Guan comes in place of UNN and Aniruddhapa comes into the midfield while we just misses Valskis. I completely agree with the inclusion of Valskis into the India Sports team because even in the case of ISL for you, we had Valskis very close to Roy Krishna and Ogbeche, but I wanted to include Aniruddhapa into the midfield as an Indian contribution or Indian player because of which Valskis misses out. Anyway, we do have a very strong a striker partnership in Roy Krishna and Ogbeche. But taking the Valskis part out, the remaining two things, Subhashish Bose versus Jessel, Lucy and Goan versus um, UNN are the two important observations that we are going to discuss based on certain data. We know that Subhashish Bose and Jessel Carnero both had an impressive performance, but when we take, uh, when we look at it based on the impact each player has done for the team, uh, we know the significance of Jessel played in, uh, for KBFC because they were lacking a left back for the last couple of years. Jessel came in, he had a wonderful season, he played the entire minutes for the Kerala Blasters team. He was few positives for the Kerala Blasters in the previous season. But when we took at a look, take a look at the performance data for these players, based on the goals, shots, assists, crosses, tackles, interception, clearances and blocks, based on these parameters, if we rank these players, the ranking will be in this order. Subhashish Bose comes first. Interestingly, Narayan, Gals, Narayan and Das comes in second position and Jessel comes only in the third position, which is a point not. Basically, the difference is because of a defensive contribution between these players. When we compare Subhashish Bose and Jessel, 56 tackles for Bose in place of 28 for Jessel, 26 for Subhashish Bose in place of 22 for Jessel, Clearances, it is 114 versus 78. Blocks, it is 35 versus 22. And in that manner, when we take the defensive contribution, Subhashish Bose is way ahead. Because of which, the points is also high. 651 versus 484. When it comes in the uh, up front, in the offensive area, Bose has scored one goal, Jessel has zero. Nine shots to 11. Two assists to five. 35 crosses to 55. It is mainly in the forward area or offensive area where Jessel is slightly leading Subhashish Bose. But interesting factor here is Narayan Das inclusion as a second ahead of Jessel. 
This is also because of the defensive contribution. The clearances, the blocks, the interception and even tackles. In all these four areas, Narayanan Das has a high lead compared to Jessel Carnero. And that is one area where Jessel needs to improve. And because of that area, I strongly request or I strongly um, demand the inclusion of Subhashish Bose in the starting 11 compared to Jessel Carnero. It is just not taking away anything from Jessel's performance last season. He was good. He was a new introduction uh, as a player to the international arena. But still, based on the data, I want Subhashish Bose uh, into the starting 11. So that is one key observation. The second most important thing that we need to know is the uh, observation regarding the Lucien Goen and UNN of Bangalore UFC. EA Sports went with UNN in the starting 11, but Lucien Goen was not present even in the bench or even in the reserves. So we have taken a look at the center backs uh, who had played more than 1000 minutes in the Hero Super League of uh, Hero Indian Super League in 2019-20 season. So this is the list, uh, this is the ranking how it comes. Interestingly, Lucien Goen comes top of Marthoda Fault in this list. That is basically because of the contribution in the defensive area, tackles, interception, clearance and blocks. Similar to the case with the left back. And overall with the 1005 points, he becomes top where Marthoda Fault is 911, just back with him. But the most important factors, the UN is placed only in the 7th spot behind Preetam Gautal, Augustin Inigas and Carlos Pena and Elisa Bia also. So that stat data definitely gives us an eye opener. When we compare the defensive uh, records, the defensive data between Lucien Goan and UNN, 62 tackles for Goan with 24 for UNN, 49 interception for Goan with 15 only for UNN. 228 clearances with 138 of UNN and 30 blocks compared to 23 of uh, UNN. As a team, Bangalore UFC was very strong in the defensive area. They fought or they conceded only just 13 goal, 13 or 14 goals, I'm not sure, which is the very least number among all the teams. So that in the on team basis they were good, but an individual basis when we compare Goan and UNN, I think Lucy and Goan all, always is ahead in the defensive department. Let's take a look at the offensive area also. Two goals compared to one, nine shots compared to 16, zero assists for both and zero crosses. So there also we are having a, a equal distribution where number of shots is high in case of UNN, but overall as a player, the entire contribution on the pitch we need to agree to the fact that Lucy and Gwen was much better than, compared to UNN in the season of Indian Super League. A point to mention is, is the uh, Lucy and Gwen coming ahead of Martha Fall. That may uh, arise some um, discussions to happen, but still, their also defensive contribution is high for Lucy and Gwen, mainly because of the way they played. That may be one reason. Clearance 228 to 191, interception 49 to 21 tackles almost fall ahead of it and compared to them um, in the offensive area goals shots and assists there is no one near Marthoda fall so that is not a point to think about but even though taking Marthoda fall away when we compare Lucy and Gwen and UN I do um, have a disagreement with the uh, EA Sports team of the season I think Lucy and Gwen should be in the starting 11 or even on the bench or reserve side where where UNN based on the data that we have he is completely out of picture even from the top 5 spot. So these two are the major points of discussion or observation when we compare these two teams and another major thing that we need to look at is the uh, players in the bench and the reserve sites that we have. Having a quick look at the bench side we have Preetan Kotal, Adinam Dejaria, Rowan Rogers, Thapa, Fernandez, Koro, Chedri. Most of most these players are in the top 10 when we take them with the respective position. In the results, Partalu, Chante and Jerry, I agree with these three, but Nishukumar and Marcelino, maybe there may be some alternatives. As I mentioned, in the case of left back, Asnarayan and Das, or in the case of Marcelino also in the forward or winger section, he is coming way back. So apart from these two, I agree with all the players we have on the screen right now with the bench and results. So these are the findings, these are the observations that we have when we compare the 
EA Sports team of the season and ISL for your team of the season. Please come and respond what are things you need to know about Indian football, what are the changes that I need to make to this, such sort of videos. Are you enjoying these videos? Please come and respond in the comment box below and thank you. Have a nice day.